Good morning. Let us begin our morning praise. Lord, open my lips. And my mouth will proclaim your praise. The Lord is risen. Alleluia. The Lord is risen. Alleluia. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. The Lord is risen. Alleluia. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. The Lord is risen, alleluia. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God and we are his people, the flock he shepherds. The Lord is risen, alleluia. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness, when at Meribah and Massa they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. The Lord is risen, alleluia. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, they are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. The Lord is risen. Alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord is risen. Alleluia. Jesus Christ is risen today. Alleluia. Our triumphant holy day. Alleluia. Who did once upon the cross, Alleluia, suffer to redeem our loss, Alleluia. Hymns of praise, then let us sing, Alleluia, unto Christ our heavenly King, Alleluia, who endured the cross and grave, Alleluia, sinners to redeem and save, Alleluia. But the pains which he endured, Alleluia, our salvation have procured, Alleluia. Now he rules eternal King, Alleluia, where the angels ever sing, Alleluia. Praise to God the Father, sing, Alleluia. Praise to God the Son, our King, Alleluia. Praise to God the Spirit be, Alleluia, now and through eternity, Alleluia. Please be seated. Have courage, my son. Your sins are forgiven, alleluia. Have mercy on me, God, in your kindness. In your compassion, blot out my offense. O wash me more and more from my guilt, and cleanse me from my sin. My offense, truly I know them. My sin is always before me. Against you, you alone, have I sinned. What is evil in your sight, I have done. That you may be justified when you give sentence, and be without reproach when you judge. O oh, see, in guilt I was born, a sinner was I conceived. Indeed, you love truth in the heart. Then in the secret of my heart, teach me wisdom. O oh, purify me, then I shall be clean. O oh, wash me, I shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear rejoicing and gladness, that the bones you have crushed may revive. From my sins, turn away your face, and blot out all my guilt. A pure heart create for me, O God. Put a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. Give me again the joy of your help. With a spirit of fervor sustain me, that I may teach transgressors your ways, and sinners may return to you. O rescue me, God, my helper, and my tongue shall ring out your goodness, O oh Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. For in sacrifice you take no delight. Burnt offering from me you would refuse. My sacrifice, a contrite spirit, a humbled, contrite heart you will not spurn. In your goodness show favor to Zion. Rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will be pleased with lawful sacrifice, holocausts offered on your altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, 
is now and will be forever. Amen. Have courage, my son. Your sins are forgiven. Alleluia. Father, he who knew no sin was made sin for us, to save us and restore us to your friendship. Look upon our contrite heart and afflicted spirit and heal our troubled conscience, so that in the joy and strength of the Holy Spirit, we may proclaim your praise and glory before all the nations. You go forth to save your people, to save your anointed one. Alleluia. O Lord, I have heard your renown and feared, O Lord, your work. In the course of the years, revive it. In the course of the years, make it known. In your wrath, remember compassion. God comes from Teman, the Holy One from Mount Paran. Covered are the heavens with his glory, and with his praise the earth is filled. His splendor spreads like the light. Rays shine forth from beside him. Where his power is concealed, you come forth to save your people, to save your anointed one. You tread the sea with your steeds amid the churning of deep waters. I hear and my body trembles. At the sound, my lips quiver. Decay invades my bones. My legs tremble beneath me. I await the day of distress that will come upon the people who attack us. For though the fig tree blossom not, nor fruit be on the vines, though the yield of the olive fail, and the terraces produce no nourishment, though the flocks disappear from the fold, and there be no herd in the stalls, yet will I rejoice in the Lord and exult in my saving God. God, my Lord, is my strength. He makes my feet swift as those of hinds and enables me to go upon the heights. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. You go forth to, to save, save your people, people to, to save, save your, your anointed, anointed one. one. Alleluia. Zion, give praise to your God. He has brought peace to your borders. Alleluia. O praise the Lord Jerusalem. Zion, praise your God. He has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed the children within you. He established peace on your borders. He feeds you with finest wheat. He sends out his word to the earth and swiftly runs his command. He showers down snow white as wool. He scatters hoarfrost like ashes. He hurls down hailstones like crumbs. The waters are frozen at his touch. He sends forth his word, and it, it melts them. At the breath of his mouth, the waters flow. He makes his word known to Jacob, to Israel his laws and decrees. He has not dealt thus with other nations. He has not taught them his decrees. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Zion. Mm -hmm. Give, Give praise, praise to your, your God. He yes, has brought peace to, to your, your borders. borders. Alleluia. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The God of our fathers has raised up Jesus, whom you put to death, hanging him on a tree. He whom God has exalted at his right hand as ruler and savior, is to bring repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. We testify to this. So too does the Holy Spirit, whom God has given to those that obey him. The Lord is risen from the tomb. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord is risen from the tomb. Alleluia, alleluia. He hung upon the cross for us. Alleluia, alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The Lord is risen from the tomb. Alleluia, alleluia. Please all stand. Jesus took bread, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to those who were at table with him. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. 
He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. His was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, three to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Jesus, Jesus took, took bread, bread, and, and when, when he, he had, had given, given thanks, thanks, he gave it to those who were at table with him. Alleluia. God the Father raised up Christ through the Spirit and will also raise up our mortal bodies. Let us cry out to him, Lord, raise us to life through your Holy Spirit. Lord, raise us to life through your Holy Spirit. O Holy Father, you accepted the Holocaust of your Son in raising him from the dead. Accept the offering we make today and lead us to eternal life. Lord, raise us to life through your Holy Spirit. Look with favor on all we do today, that it may be for your glory and the sanctification of the world. Lord, raise us to life through your Holy Spirit. May our work today not be in vain, but for the good of the whole world, and through it lead us to your kingdom. Lord, raise us to life through your Holy Spirit. Open our eyes today to recognize our brothers and sisters, and our hearts to love them, so that we may love and serve each other. Lord, raise us to life through your Holy Spirit. Now let us pray as Christ the Lord has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Father, in your plan of salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, accepted the cross and freed us from the power of the enemy. May we come to share the glory of his resurrection, for he lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us bless the Lord and give him thanks. Please be seated. Our Holy Mass will begin in a few minutes.
Please all stand to pray the Regina Celli. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Queen of heaven, rejoice. Alleluia. Because the Son you were chosen to bear. Alleluia. Has risen as he said. Alleluia. Pray for us to God. Alleluia. Rejoice and be glad, O Virgin Mary. Alleluia. Because our Lord is truly risen. Alleluia. Let us pray. God, our Father, you give joy to the world by the resurrection of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through the prayers of his mother, the Virgin Mary, bring us to the happiness of eternal life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Morning Offering O Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I offer you my prayers, works, joys, and sufferings of this day, in union with the holy sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world. I offer them for all the intentions of your Sacred Heart, the salvation of souls, the reparation for sins, the reunion of all Christians. I offer them for the intentions of our bishops and of all our parishioners, and in particular, for the intentions of our Holy Father for this month. For a culture of peace and nonviolence, we pray for the spread of peace and nonviolence by decreasing the use of weapons by states and citizens. Prayer to St. Michael. St. Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do you, O Prince of the Heavenly Hosts, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Welcome to the celebration of the Holy Eucharist this Friday in the second week of Easter. Please welcome our presiding priest, Father Rolly Agustin. And with your spirit. Coming together as God's family, let us ask the Father's forgiveness, for he is full of gentleness and compassion. I confess to Almighty, Almighty God, God and, and to you, me. my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned. In my, my thoughts, thoughts and in my, my words, words, in what, in what I, have I have done, done and in what, what I have, I have failed, failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my, my most grievous fault. fault. Therefore, Therefore, I ask, ask Blessed Mary, Mary ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my, my brothers and sisters, sisters to pray for me to the to Lord, Lord our God. God. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. 
Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, hope and light of the sincere, we humbly entreat you to dispose our hearts and to offer you worthy prayers and ever to extol you by dutiful proclamation of your praise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. A Pharisee and a Sanhedrin named Gamaliel, a teacher of the law respected by all the people, stood up, ordered the apostles to be put outside for a short time, and said to the Sanhedrin, Fellow children of Israel, be careful what you are about to do to these men. Some time ago, Theudas appeared, claiming to be someone important, and about 400 men joined him, but he was killed, and all those who were loyal to him were disbanded and came to nothing. After him came Judas the Galilean at the time of the census. He also drew people after him, but he too perished, and all who were loyal to him were scattered. So now I tell you, have nothing to do with these men and let them go. For if this endeavor or this activity is of human origin, it will destroy itself. But if it comes from God, you will not be able to destroy them. You may even find yourselves fighting against God. They were persuaded by him. After recalling the apostles, they had them flogged, ordered them to stop speaking in the name of Jesus, and dismissed them. So they left the presence of the Sanhedrin, rejoicing that they had been found worthy to suffer dishonor for the sake of the name. And all day long, both at the temple and in their homes, they did not stop teaching and proclaiming the Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. One thing I seek to dwell in the house of the Lord. One thing I seek to dwell in the house of the Lord. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear? The Lord is my life's refuge. Of whom should I be afraid? One thing I seek to dwell in the house of the Lord. One thing I ask of the Lord, this I seek, to dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, that I may gaze on the loveliness of the Lord and contemplate his temple. One thing I seek to dwell in the house of the Lord. I believe that I shall see the bounty of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord with courage. Be stout-hearted and wait for the Lord. One thing I seek to dwell in the house of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. One does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes forth from the mouth of God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. 
Jesus went across the Sea of Galilee. A large crowd followed him because they saw the signs he was performing on the sick. Jesus went up on the mountain, and there he sat down with, with his disciples. The Jewish feast of Passover was near. When Jesus raised his eyes and saw a large crowd was coming to him, he said to Philip, Where can we buy enough food for them to eat? He said this to test him, because he himself knew what he was going to do. Philip answered him, Two hundred days' wages worth of food would not be enough for each of them to have a little. One of his disciples, Andrew, the brother of Simon, Peter, said to him, There is a boy here who has five barley loaves and two fish, but what good are these for so many? Jesus said, Have the people reclined? Now there was a great deal of grass in that place. So the men reclined, about 5,000 in number. Then Jesus took the loaves, gave thanks, and distributed them to those who were reclining, and also as much of the fish as they wanted. When they had had their fill, he said to his disciples, Gather the fragments left over, so that nothing will be wasted. So they collected them and filled twelve wicker baskets with fragments from the five barley loaves that had been more than they could eat. When the people saw the sign he had done, they said, the one who is to come into the world. Since Jesus knew that they were going to come and carry him off to make him king, he withdrew again to the mountain alone. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Almost a century ago, two men were on a train in France. The older man, reading the Bible story of the multiplication of the loaves, nothing, noticing this, the younger man said, Pardon me, sir, but do you really believe what you're reading? Yes, said the older man. Don't you believe it? No, said the younger man. I am a scientist. And that story goes against all scientific laws. At this point, the train slowed down. This is my station, said the young man. Nice talking to you, mister. Pasture said the older man, Louis Pasteur. He was one of the world's greatest scientists. The question that we may ask ourselves is this, how do we handle faith? faith how do we handle faith question when they seem to conflict with science? May I repeat, for our further reflection, how do we handle faith questions when they seem to conflict with science? And let this be a, that we may have a childlike faith like St. Therese who said those who have childlike faith in the Lord will see the face of God.
In the miracle of the feeding of 5,000 people, our Lord shows us the Father will give us everything we need. Let us ask Him for all the good things He can provide us. Lord, give us our daily bread. Lord, give us our daily bread. That the leaders of the church may show the same compassion that prompted Jesus to feed the hungry crowd. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord give, give us, us our, our daily, daily bread. bread. That Christians may imitate the young boy and share what they possess with the underprivileged. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, give us our daily bread. That young people may find Christ as the satisfaction for their thirst and hunger. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, give us our daily bread. That the sick may receive physical and spiritual help from those who care for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, give us our daily bread. That our beloved dead may come to the eternal feast in God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, give us our daily bread. In silence, let us pray for our personal intentions, the Mass intentions for today, and those that have asked us to pray for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord give, give us, us our, our daily, daily bread. bread. Loving Father, hear the prayers of your people gathered to offer and receive the eternal gift. Your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Dear sisters and brothers, that these are sacrifice may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept in compassion, Lord, we pray, the offerings of your family, that under your protective care, they may never lose what they have received, but attain the gifts that are eternal. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to proclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who died no more, the Lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, 
overcome with paschal joy. Every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together. The Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant. It will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jesse, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with Saint James and the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Therese and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come. come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and save from all distress, violence, calamities, COVID, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, 
and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, God you take away the, the sins, sins of the world. world. Have, Have mercy, mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
let us pray. Keep safe, O Lord, we pray. Those whom you have saved by your kindness, that redeemed by the passion of your Son, they may rejoice in his resurrection, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please kneel for the prayer to the Sacred Heart of Jesus. All together, Divine, Divine Jesus, Jesus, you have, you have said, said, Ask and, and you shall receive, receive seek and, and you shall find, knock and it shall be opened open unto you. Behold me kneeling at your feet, filled with a lively faith and confidence in the promises dictated by your sacred heart and pronounced by your adorable lips. I come to ask this favor. To whom, to whom can, can I turn, I turn to, to, if not, not to you, whose heart, whose heart is the source of all graces and merits? Where should I seek, if not in the treasure which contains all the riches of your kindness and mercy? Where must I knock, if not at the door through which God gives himself to us and through which we go to God? I have recourse to you, heart of Jesus. In you I find consolation when afflicted, protection when persecuted. Strength when burdened with trials, and light in doubt and darkness. Dear Jesus, I firmly believe that you can grant me the grace I implore, even though it should require a miracle. You only have to will it, and my prayer will be granted. I admit that I am most unworthy of your favors, but this is not a reason for me to be discouraged. You are the God of mercy, and you will not refuse a contrite heart. Cast upon me a look of mercy, I beg of you, and your kind heart will find in my miseries and weakness a reason for granting my prayer. O Sacred Heart, whatever may be your decision with regard to my request, I will never stop adoring, loving, praising, and serving you. My Jesus, be pleased to accept this, my act of perfect resignation, to the decrees of your adorable heart, which I sincerely desire, may be fulfilled in and by me and all your creatures forever. Sacred Heart of Jesus, I know that there is but one thing impossible to you, to be without pity for those who are suffering or in distress. Look upon me, I beg of you, dear Jesus, and grant me the grace for which I humbly implore you. Through the Immaculate Heart of your most sorrowful mother, you have entrusted me to her as her child, and her prayers are all powerful with you. Amen. Immaculate Heart of Mary, pray for us. Sacred Heart of Jesus, we will have first the short prayer of uh, the, the rite of departure, then I will give the blessing, and the rest will be transferred to St. Jerome, then go to Proceed to the Diocese of Imus, Cavite. After the prayer of departure, I'll give to the Sabbath be fast.
We praise and thank you, Father, source of all holiness, for the visit of the sacred relic of your servant, St. Therese, in our community. May we imitate her holiness by deepening our relationship with you and with our neighbor through service and compassion, the marginalized, the wounded, the unchurched, and the sinners in our community. We praise you. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We praise and thank you, Jesus, Son of the Father, face of the Father's mercy and compassion, through the visit of the sacred relics of your servant, St. Therese, in our community, St. James the Great Parish. May we heed your call to each one of us, to be holy as your heavenly Father is holy. Help us to be faithful to your commandments, to love God and our neighbor always. We praise you. Amen. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. We praise and thank you, Holy Spirit, our sanctifier and life through the visit of the sacred relics of your servant, St. Therese, in our community. We felt your presence in our unity. Continue to bless our endeavors always. Ignite in us the fire of your love and guide our way to the path of holiness. We praise you. Amen. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. St. Therese, thank you for visiting our community. Continue to pray for each one of us. Pray especially for the marginalized, the wounded, the unchurched, and the sinners of our community. Help us to be saints. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. A new commandment I give you, love one another as I have loved you, so you must love one another. By this, everyone will know that you are my disciples if you love one another. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Prayer for the safeguard of the holy relics of St. Therese. Protect, O Lord, Holy Father, your holy servant, Saint Therese, from those who will desecrate her name and remains. Guard the sanctity of the earthly remains, for it is holy. Banish the evil intentions of those who desire to have her in possession. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, of Saint Therese and all the saints, may the Lord bless us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Almighty bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration. Thanks be God. to God. Amen. 
ating paglalakbay Pag-usa Ama sa kalangitan Your little ways are great for us So full of love You let the Lord work through your life Always much the light Please pray for us, O oh Saint Therese, don't ever leave our side. And just as Mama Mary smiled at you, may you always smile at us. Sapat ka ba yan kung kami sa langdas ng kapanalan? Naway magulog ka ng tulap na sa aming daraan. Sa aming daraanan Upang kami di maligaw Sa aming paglalakbay Patungo sa Ama sa Palangitan Kaalagad, kaibigan, kamisyon Sa Good afternoon. I'm sorry. Good morning. Uh, may we request that those that are already in line for the veneration of St. Teresa's relic, if you can start praying so that by the time you get here, uh, because they will have a time frame to catch, to get it to St. Jerome, which will eventually get to move on to Imus Cavite. Thank you for your cooperation.